Hi, my name is Anne, and this is an at home with imaginative story time for preschoolers or early elementary age kiddos. And there's a baking component that adults will have to help with if you decide to do it. Today, I woke up hungry, just like the ant eater in my first book. However, unlike the ant eater, I knew exactly what I wanted to eat. So I made some bread, and when I started to go to work, it turns out all the books I picked were about food. So in my first book, we follow an anteater, our main character, who's hungry, on a walk as the anteater tries to track down breakfast. Well, what do you think an anteater eats? For some reason, the anteater in our story cannot remember. I decided to Google the answer and I found out some pretty amazing anteater facts. Here is a photo of an anteater. Some anteaters are small, the size of a squirrel, and some are large. A giant anteater can grow to be seven feet long and its tongue can be two feet long. They have long hair to, too to protect themselves from biting insects. And you can't quite see it in this picture, but you might notice it in our book. They walk on their front knuckles so they can keep their long four inch claws sharp. Anteaters need sharp claws to defend themselves against predators like cougars and jaguars. They are related to sloths, and like sloths, they move slowly, except when they are eating. Then their two-foot-long tongues can really move. I don't want to spoil the book by telling you what an anteater eats yet, so I'll turn the camera around and just read, and let's find out. What does an anteater eat by Ross Collins? What do you guys think an anteater eats? Anteater wakes up hungry, but there's something he can't quite remember. What does an anteater eat? Let's find out. Keep your eye out for ants on these pages. There's anteater sleeping. Oh, there's an ant. Ooh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Good morning. I know this sounds odd, but do you happen to know what an anteater eats? Oh, I'm very busy. Oh, don't bother me. Oh, I see. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. Hello. I wonder, do you know what an anteater eats? Watermelon. Uh, watermelon, really? Are you sure? Oh, definitely watermelon. Trust me, I'm a melon expert. Well, I'm not sure my mouth is wide enough. Excuse me, I don't suppose you know what an anteater eats, do you? I'm sorry, I don't. But I would really recommend that you chew your food. Oh, thanks. That's good advice. Thank you. Look at his belly. I don't think he chews his food. Snakes don't really chew their food. Oh, and look at that. I'm sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to know what an ant eater eats, would you? I'm afraid not. But this old fish is delicious. Want to try some? Uh, thank you, but no. Hello. I don't suppose you fellows happen to know what an ant eater eats, do you? Sorry, no. Can't talk. Must catch. Dinner! Uh, good luck! I wonder if I might ask, 
Do you happen to know what an anteater eats? I'm afraid I don't, but I must say, you look very tasty. Oh, I really must be going. Bye. Excuse me, I don't suppose you happen to know what an... Run! Now I know what an anteater eats. Of course. Bananas! Oh, look at all the banana peels. The end. So what did you think? Were you surprised at the ending? I was. But when I googled the information about anteaters, I found that anteaters really do also eat some fruits. Since they don't have any teeth, they would probably love soft bananas and not be able to chew through a watermelon rind just like in the book. Mostly, anteaters just eat ants and termites. They are my heroes. Anteaters can eat up to 35,000 insects in a day, and their long tongues are so fast at it that they never get stung. They have special stomach acid in their stomachs to digest 35,000 ants in a day, yet they are careful never to eat so many ants in one particular anthill so that that anthill dies. So that picture book actually has some good information in it. None of the animals can really talk, of course, but ant e and anteaters really do know what they want to eat. But the characters in this book all actually live in Central and South America. If our last book had good information, sadly, the same cannot be said for our next book. In this book, don't feed the coos, it's just silly. I'll turn the camera around and let's learn more about what coos like to eat. Don't Feed the Coos by Jonathan Stutzman Illustrated by Heather Fox. We warned you. Look at that warning look. And papers full of pigeons. They're everywhere. Cool. Don't feed the coos. When you see a coo, you will be tempted to give it a treat. See what she's carrying? Baguettes. Off a piece of the baguette. Coos are adorable, peaceful, kind of silly. But don't feed the coo. If you feed one, they will all come. Coo, 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 coo. You will try to escape. Ah, they will follow you through the park. Coo, help, help, coo, coo, ah. So take me home. Taxi driver says, get in quick. Coo's down the street. All the way home. Your mother will not be pleased. Wherever you go, they will be too. At orchestra practice, coo. At the arcade, coo. Even at karate lessons. <sighs> Your sensei will not be pleased. 
is get these pigeons out the door. <gasps> okay, come on guys, go. And to thank you for feeding them, the coos will leave poos. Coo poos everywhere. Coo poos covering everything. You will lose your socks to the coos poos. Your backpack, your bed, coo. your mind, all because you fed the coos. You will do anything to make them leave. Coo spray, but nothing will work. They turned it into hairspray. Coo, look at their hairdos. Oh my goodness. And her hairdo. She doesn't look happy though. You will try to hide. Do, 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 do. Coo. Uh, but you cannot hide from a coo. Coo. Coo, coo. Coo, coo, coo. No matter what scheme you cook up, there's all these signs. No coos. No coos allowed. Go away. Private property. Coo shall not pass. Coo's not welcome. Coo free zone. They change the signs because your plans will fail they will eat and eat and eat and coo and poo and poo on everything coo 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 shall pass cool wow do not go away coo's welcome coo's allowed coo's own private pooperty Coo, coo, coo. So just to accept your fate. Coos aren't so bad once you get to know them. Give them names. Knit them scarves. I'm zoom in so we can see these names. We got Lizzie, Neil, no, nope. yeah, Neil, Luna, and we've got Doug. Milo, Mel, Linus, Gimli, Babs, Chomp, Gordon, Mary, Tutty, Steve, Buster. You make them part of your family. Oh, a poo family. Take them on walks in the park. Coos love the park. And see, look at these signs. It says, missing pigeons. Missing pigeons. A healthy coo is a happy coo. Missing pigeons. And she sees that sign. Coo. Now take your pets for a walk. Yes. Feed them bird seed. Coos love food more than parks. You're getting the hang of this, kid. Embrace your coos, because they will be your coos till the very end. There is absolutely, positively no way to get rid of them. Clever child. Looks like there is a way. That guy looks like the guy from the poster. And she gave in some seeds, and now the coos are his coos. Coo. The end. Okay, so that book was just pure entertainment. If you liked it, you might like another book by this team. They also wrote Llama Destroys the World. Tony from the library and his daughter really liked that book. My next book is both a silly story and full of rhymes. It is by one of my favorite authors, Mo Willems. He wrote the book 
the classic, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Personally, I am staying away from coos or pigeons. But this book, our characters seem to all be frogs. This book is called Nanette's Baguettes. Nanette is the name of our main character. And as we've said before about rhyming books, they really expand your vocabulary. This is Nanette, and this is a baguette. Stick around after this story and I'll give you a recipe for making your own baguettes. Nanette's Baguette. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. And papers are full of baguettes. Okay, here's our town. Let's see, it looks like a town of little frogs. And there is a mama frog with a bunch of baby frogs. Pushing them in a stroller. This frog guy. That's our main character, Nanette. She's looking at the bakery next door and oh, look at the baguette in the window. Mm. There's some more characters, some children frogs playing games. There's a guy walking his pet Antoinette for a lie. All right, Nanette's baguette. Nanette! Today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. Today in the kitchenette. Mom tells Nanette that Nanette gets to get the baguette. Oh, yay! Baguettes are warm. Baguettes smell wonderful. Getting to get the baguette is Nanette's biggest responsibility yet. Is Nanette set to get the baguette? You bet. But on the way, Nanette sees Georgette and Suzette and Brett with his clarinet. Oh, and look, there's Mr. Barnett with his pet, Antoinette. Oh, Nanette pets Antoinette. Did Nanette forget the baguette? Oop, got a jet. I've got a baguette to get, says Nanette to the quartet. One, two, three, four. Baker Juliet met, has met Nanette. She knows it's Nanette's first baguette to get. So Juliet gets Nanette the best baguette yet. Oh, Nanette, did you get the baguette? You bet! The baguette is warm. The baguette smells wonderful. And there sure is a lot of it. The baguette is warm. The baguette tastes wonderful. And there still is a lot of it. Crack. The baguette is still warm. The baguette still tastes wonderful. And there is still some of it. Can Nanette stop tasting the baguette? Not yet! Crack, 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 crack. Mmm, baguette. 
<gasps> oh no! There is no more baguette. Nanette begins to fret. <gasps> Will Mom be upset? Will Mom regret she let Nanette get the baguette? The storm clouds gather. Kaboom! Lightning, thunder, <gasps> rain, and now Nanette is wet. Wet with no baguette. This is as bad as it can get. <sighs> Nanette wishes Mom had never let Nanette get that baguette. Maybe Nanette will move to Tibet. Tibet is as far away as you can get. Nanette would need a jet. Can Nanette go home instead? Can Nanette face her mom? What will she do? Where's the baguette, Nanette? asks Mom. Did you forget? Nanette did not forget. <laughs> Nanette is upset. Nanette is beset with regret. She sweats. <gasps> I ate the baguette! Oh, sweetie. Mom hugs Nanette. It is warm. It is wonderful, like a million baguettes. The day is not over yet, Nanette, says Mom. Let's reset. <gasps> yes, let's. Baker Juliet is surprised to see Nanette, but not too surprised. Nanette's mom gets another baguette. Now they are all set. Mom, Nanette, and a baguette. The baguette is warm. The baguette smells wonderful. Crack! <gasps> mom! Today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. Oh, and our end papers got nibbled and eaten away. Crack, crack, crack. The end. <laughs> of course, I had to make baguettes after that story. When we could meet in person at the library, I would buy baguettes fresh at Smith's to share with the kids strictly to help them with their vocabulary, of course. Let us not let being apart deter us. Instead, let's make our own baguettes with no regrets. This recipe is from all recipes and would make two baguettes. I'll put the link in the description. But if we just make one baguette, then we can use the rest of the dough to make breadstick letters. So, what's even better than library baguettes? cooking breadstick letters at home. I made one baguette with the recipe. For the rest of the dough, I remembered what I would do with my daughter. We played with bread dough like it was Play-Doh, forming kitties and animals and letters, and then baking them and then eating them. Since the bread is baked after playing with it, kid germs are killed in the oven. So while you all still do need to wash your hands, this is a good and fun and in this case, educational way for kids to help with cooking. When the creating is done, and after you've let the dough rise again, you can sprinkle them with grated cheese after brushing on the egg yolk that's called for in the recipe. Since your creations are of all different thicknesses, you'll have to kind of keep an eye on them as they will be done baking at slightly different times. Have fun! Well, I hope you enjoyed this delicious at home with Imagine If. Bye till next time. Crack!